The following podcast contains sick beats and some fucking naughty words. Fuck you. <laughs> we watch it. We watch it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to We Watched a Thing, where this week we did not watch anything. Ain't that right, Dave? <laughs> Fuck no, we didn't. <laughs> we absolutely did not. Uh, there's just nothing really coming out this week. <laughs> well, you wanted me to watch that horror movie, and I said, Fuck you, I'm going to Comic Con all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How was Comic Con, by the way? Give us a rundown. Oh, so much fucking fun. Um, <laughs> no, really good. Um, a mate of mine was doing the all of the emceeing and, and running all the panels. Yeah. Um, and yeah, shout out, Quinny, you fucking killed it. You were amazing. <laughs> um, but no, this was like they made it just for me. I, I, I think I, I posted on online three of the shows that I miss most of the last like 20 years. Uh, yeah. Winona Earp, Fringe and Lost Girl. Yeah, big Fringe fan and, here too. So Oh yeah. my God. So we had, I met John Noble from Fringe, I met Rachel Scarston from Lost Girl, and I met half the entire fucking core cast of Winona Earp and had a fucking backstage meet and greet, chatted to him for an hour. All, every single person I met, just such, so generous with their time. I mean, Tim Rosen, fuck me, what a dude. He, yeah. He wasn't sitting behind the thing. He was out round the, the front of the <laughs> table with everyone else. Talk, you know, uh, no, it was it was really fantastic. Just every nice. single person was not a disappointment. They were nicer <laughs> than I expected. So no, I had a fucking great time. Awesome. Autographs galore. Brilliant. But you were too busy to watch a movie. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck that shit. <laughs> so that's why this week we're doing something a little bit different. As some of you may know, we've been having a lot of fun uh, lately doing some music stuff over on the Patreon. We've been doing a bonus series called, you know, The Hunt for the Perfect Album. Where we'll so be going much through. better than the main show. The main show <laughs> sucks by comparison. It's shit. And the, the, the Patreon show rules. It's so <laughs> and so I said, well, since we've got no movies to watch, why don't we do something music related and see how it goes, see if people are keen on that kind of thing. And hmm. maybe it's something we incorporate in the future. Who knows? But we threw some topics around it and we landed on best drinking songs. Which yeah, I don't know why that came up. Trump, came up Trump's. Yes. yes, we are both a little buzzed as we speak. Uh, but it, it, I, I like leaving the brief a bit loose like this because when I posted this for some listener feedback, I said, look, that interpret that how you will. Is it songs that you listen to while drinking that you love to scream out? Is it songs about drinking? Is it maybe both, which is the best kind of drinking song? <laughs> so we're going to come up with a list of 10 each so that at the end of this show, you've got a playlist of 20 songs to jam out to while you're getting your trolley on. Plus, <laughs> and all, all plus uh, uh, we, we should include the listener songs in the playlist as well. So it'll be more than Yeah, two. 100%. Yeah. And so I think... Our gimmick is no double ups. So whoever gets yeah. to go first may have an advantage because we're not going to have any double ups at all. Uh, and we'll no, get you guys to vote. To you off, off my, it's <laughs> I, not going to happen. I don't believe you. I got into the spirit early <laughs> and did my initial list of 20 to 30 <laughs> fucking smashed. And then the next day when I looked at it, it was like, who made this list? <laughs> um I don't think we're going to have any double, double I'm ups. curious. And we'll get you guys to vote on the better list as well. So I think that's going to be that's going to be fun. <laughs> That'll be you. <laughs> let's see let's see who gets to go first, all right? I'm going to I'm going to flip a coin. I want you to heads or tails me, okay? Always heads. Give me heads. Heads, heads my man. So you're up first. Hit us up with your number 1 best right. drinking song and why. Oh, wait on. I've got mine arranged like so what I've done, just to, I, I reckon in case me. what I've done is order them as an evening. Oh shit! So, so the, the only the only risk is that if we do have double ups and you have like your I, best songs at the we, end, I might take them. I'm confident we won't. Okay. But the, the reason I've I've kind of done this is. You want it to progress I, when I was thinking, from well, like a little I, buzz I, I, to I, wasted. <laughs> I, I want it to be like a concept album. No, um, <laughs> when I when I approached the topic, I, I was like, "Well, what's a drinking song?" And as you said, there's songs about drinking, or there are songs to listen to while you drink. Yeah, but 
and 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 I I was very much in the latter camp. Songs that you listen to while you drink, or that make you want to drink, or whatever. Um, but that's changed over the course of my life. So, I've got songs that are you, they start playing in a bar. Everyone in the bar fucking joins in <laughs> drunkenly and sings along. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. those sort of songs. I've got songs that I want to listen to if I'm feeling depressed in a bar, nursing a whiskey. Yep, yep. And so I've tried to arrange them so there's a sort of a an, an arc. Okay. Uh, you know, All right. You, start you, do, you do you. And- you do you. I'm just going to go so, from best, I think. <laughs> so mine is absolutely not from best. My yep. best will be the last one that okay. I bring out. But I have 100% confidence it's not on your list, so I don't give a shit. So I'm going to start, and this is not the worst. There's no, there's not a, you know, there's, mine's not by way of quality yeah, or how yeah. much I love it. Mine is starting with the song that is about the start of the evening. This is a song about heading out on a Saturday night, cash in your pocket, ready to hit the bar. It's by, and, and I could have done all 10 by this guy. It is by Tom Waits, one of my favourite artists of all time and one of the best fucking drinking song guys of all time. And it is called The Heart of Saturday Night. It's a fairly early Waits song. Um in in the the years before he got super gravelly um and i love all weights i love 80 year olds or 70 whatever the fuck he is now i love him singing now i loved him in his 20s you know back when he was appearing in (laughs) jim jamush movies like down by law um but this song was the one and i had a i had about six weight songs in in my short list but this was the one i I settled on purely because lyrically it kind of it it fit my it fit my road my, my little road map. <laughs> your arm around your sweet boy, your old smoke Hailing down the boulevard. You're looking for the heart of Saturday night. You got paid on Friday, your pockets are jingling. And you see the lights You get all tingling Cause you're cruising with a six You're looking for the heart of Saturday night Yeah, that, that is a nice drinking song That's a nice kind of Yeah, I see what you mean That's a start the evening song It's a, it's like lyrically It's literally about you yeah, walking out the door You've got some coins in your pocket <laughs> You're looking for the where, the where the scene is on the Saturday night and it's it's uh, it's true. It's just one of his most beautiful songs. Fucking yeah. early weights. His his voice back then was just sublime. Nice. I love I love crackly weights, but oh, that early one. Woo. All right. Yeah. All you, right. You well, there? I'm I'm going in the opposite direction. That's definitely a whiskey song. I'm going with a stout song. <laughs> I'm going with. I actually once when I was in Boston. I walked into an Irish pub and this song was playing and I had to message former co-host of the show, Topher, just to say, holy fuck. I walked in to an Irish bar in Boston and I'm shipping up to Boston by Dropkick Murphys is fucking playing because <laughs> the, I tell you what, the Dropkick Murphys, you hear the start of this song and yeah. you just want to fucking get trolleyed. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> That that intro honestly just gets me every time, and then it just goes oh. from there. I lost oh, my oh, legs. I've, I've got two Murphy songs in my honourable mentions, and that's one of them. Mm. Yeah. What's um, the other one? I said, I said, well, I said I could have done um, a, a top ten weight songs. I, I could easily have done a top ten Irish drinking songs. Yeah, my honourable yeah. mentions just looks like a fucking St. Paddy's Day set list. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I love that song. I think it's one of the best drinking songs ever written. It's just so great to listen to while you drink. All right, what's your number two? Well, speaking of Irish songs, 
So we've got out the door. We've we've, we've started in. We're looking for Saturday night with Tom Waits. We find Saturday night <laughs> with, a, with with what, one of the all time great Irish drinking songs, which is Whiskey in the Jar. But I haven't gone with Thin Lizzy. I haven't gone with any of the Irish bands. I've gone with a fucking American heavy metal band cover. Metallica? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only the sexiest film clip of all time, I this is my favorite version of this song. This, this yeah, version right. fucking slaps. <laughs> Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, so good. Yeah, that is, that is an excellent pick. I, I actually, I am a big Metallica fan. I got to say, um, and that is that is a nice pick. I like Metallica, and there are a few songs like one and, and you know Unforgiven and stuff that I really love. But generally speaking, I'm not a huge Metallica fan. But that yeah. cover, oh, <laughs> oh it just takes that already awesome song and just mm. nice, nice. All right, my number two is one that will definitely not be on your list and probably wouldn't have been on anyone else's list until you hear this track and you go, yes, that is the ultimate song about drinking. Uh, Because you know me, I'm an indie guy. That's just, it's who I am. I listen to indie tracks. This is by a guy called Tim Time Bomb and it's called She's Drunk All The Time. (laughs) It's a little bit of a kind of polka, I guess. Um, his instrumentation is fantastic. I can't not hear this song and think about Noosk. (laughs) (laughs) And it just has one of the best choruses of all time. Just every time I hear this song, this I think is the epitome of a song that is both about drinking and fun to sing when you're drunk. Michael likes to drink whiskey. Michael likes to drink wine. My girl likes to drink beer of scotch, bourbon and moonshine. Yes, I love my baby, but she's drunk all the time. When the night is early. I just think it has such a vibe to it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could have done with, it, with another 10, 20 seconds of that. That was great. I was getting into that. I would, I would recommend checking out some Tim Time Bomb. He's, he's got an interesting style, and that song is probably one of my favorites about drinking. So there you go. She's Drunk All the Time by Tim Time Bomb. What is your number three, mate? All right. So we've gone out probably a little bit harder than we should have done with Metallica on our Saturday night. And we've started to get a little bit depressed. <laughs> I love and that now, you've got a story to tell with your it's, list. It's, 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 uh, there's a fucking tale to tell. It, 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 there's it highs, there's lows. You know, it's all about the friends we made along the way. Yeah. Um, so now we're we're kind of sitting, we're sitting in a bar, and thinking about the one that got away, and you know, seeing the other prospects maybe that are out there, and the boss comes in. Ah, yes. <laughs> and he comes in with tougher than the rest. Right. Which is, and, and fucking Springsteen fans come at me. This is his most beautiful fucking song he has ever written. His most and beautiful. Every, everything about this song. No, nah, mate. No, no, no. Can't be better than about- she got a secret garden. <laughs> Can't be oh, better than fuck. that. <laughs> oh, stop ruining my moment. You awful cunt. Um, <laughs> this song's fucking fantastic, and everything about it screams Smoky Bar. Yeah, right. You Do you think that that is the best place to listen to this song? Yeah. Would you go so far so. as to put a quarter in the jukebox to hear this song? Oh, my God, would I ever. <laughs> Do you need to be depressed drunk to listen to this song? No, it's a beautiful song. It's about finding someone. It's not about being depressed it's about being depressed and finding someone who is equally damaged yeah, and right. coming together it's amazing some girls they want to have some dance her 
some good looking Joe On their arms Some girls like a sweet talking Romeo We'll round here baby Yeah, it's a nice song. It is nice. So good. <laughs> I see you just cracked your second beer, by the way. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fucking... Oh, <laughs> not only is it whiskey, I thought of all the whiskeys that arrived today because it was fucking Scotch Malt Whiskey Society Delivery Day. We have one entitled "Fortune Favors the Brave," and I thought, "Fuck yeah, that's appropriate." <laughs> Eight-year-old Campbelltown, ex bourbon barrel. Thank you very much. <laughs> chin chin. Oh, all right. Fuck me if you could smell that through the microphone. <laughs> well, my number three is not about drinking at all. But I am a millennial. And as a millennial, it is an unwritten <laughs> rule. Don't rub my nose in it. <laughs> it is an unwritten rule that if this song comes on, particularly at like a wedding, this is like the ultimate wedding song. Let's say you're there, you're drunk, it's the end of the night. This is like the second last song guess? to come on before wives. Yeah, have a guess. <laughs> is it by Chumba Wumba? No, no. <laughs> That song is actually not on my list, but it did make the listener <laughs> feedback, so we'll get to that. This song is by one of your favourites, mate. It's The Killers and it's Mr. Brightside, because if this song comes yeah. on, you fucking get up and dance no matter how much you're about to spew. <laughs> I saw a TikTok recently, actually. There's this TikTok talk of doing this series where he ruins songs by pointing out how much they sound like somebody else. If you listen to this song with a picture of Jerry Seinfeld up, you will never be able to listen to this song again because this guy what? sounds like fucking Jerry Seinfeld. The fuck Brandon Flowers <laughs> sounds like Jerry Seinfeld. I I'm coming out of my statement. cage, Kramer. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> does not <laughs> but yeah that what is, is my number three <laughs> that's my number three mr brightside you oh, hear that song at a wedding God. and you're a little bit tipsy you get up onto the floor and <laughs> it slaps hard all right. all right we've been in the bar we've shaken yep. off our malaise yep. we've possibly hooked up with similarly depressed people so we're kind of <laughs> we're fucking ready for the rest of the night now yep and yep. This is where we once again return to Irish drinking song territory because that's where I live. Um, and one of the greatest. And there's so many versions of this. It is one of the perennials for likes and Pat's Day, etc. But I think one of the best versions of Rocky Road to Dublin is by Damien Leith who you might remember from Australian Idol. <laughs> he was an Irish guy who went on Australian Idol and I think he came second. I, I don't recall exactly, but, but um, it's just, it's so polished. It's such a gorgeous right. version of this song. I don't think I've ever um, heard of Damien Leith. The only Australian Idol person I could name would be Guy Sebastian. <laughs> Shannon Noll, come on, Nolsey. Oh, sh oh yeah, Nolsey. Gotta love some Nolsey. <laughs> And who's the, what, who's the, who's the there was there chick, was a chick the, there was a bigger chick the Casey girl, something uh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that but um, <laughs> no there's there's um who's the Aboriginal girl who's been in like musicals and all sorts just oh Malboy. yes yes Malboy yes she yeah, performed at my work once for a Christmas party a, <laughs> there you go there's a few decent yeah. you know I mean for yeah. you know what is what it is and and I've got a shout out. My man, uh, the big fella, the, who, oh, Courtney, fucking hell, what's his name? Uh, his brother went on it a few years later and did really well as well, but Courtney, 
Fuck it, it'll come to me. Fuck it, let's hear some leaves. One city that every <laughs> lot of people stole, all among the quality bundle it was stole. In the neat locality, something crossed my mind. When I looked behind, no bundle could I find upon my stick. A wobbling quiet up the road, stayed my car and broke. Wasn't much in vogue on the rocky road to double in one and three for five. Hey, Mate, that is the... fucking great. That is yeah, really is. good. Why'd you turn it off? Keep it That's going. <laughs> That's going to make my playlist. It's so fucking good. I mean, the, the song itself is one of my favorite Irish drinking songs, but um, the, the, he did an album, I mean, because he's Irish, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? Um, he did an album of like Irish, traditional Irish songs, and they're all good, but his version of this fucking slaps. It's so good. It, the, the, it starts great, and then fucking crescendos up, and you're like, oh, give me Guinness. Yeah, right. Fucking great. Nice, nice. My number four, if I'm keeping count correctly, which I, <laughs> who knows at this point. Uh, I fucking don't care. I'm going with another indie band, and it's a band that I know you are familiar with because on our side series, I've given you one of their albums, and I'm talking the old 97s. I was going to are... say, if you've got a drinking song by Martha, it's probably illegal. <laughs> And the old 97s are a real Memphis honky-tonk style band. Yeah, they are. And they have a fucking great banger called Let's Get Drunk and Get It On. Let's get drunk and get it on. Take you to a cheap hotel out on the interstate. Well, you look so great to me. This is the perfect place for a rendezvous. It's got a rotten view, but the ice is free. Let's drink whiskey and do it all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nice. love this song. Oh, it's okay. just, it's great. Like, it's one of, similar to Tim Time Bomb, for me, it's one of those songs that is both about drinking but is also so much fun to just shout out at the top of the lungs when you're drunk. Yep. <laughs> no, I can see that. Love it. Yeah. Nice. All right. Over to your number five, mate. We are burning through these. All right. Play a little bit longer on this one when you when you it. It, it, it deserves it. It's a classic. Because we've what what's happened now is obviously we've 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 burnt the candle a little bit too much at both ends, and now we need to stop and we need to go and have a bit of an Italian dinner somewhere, and have a bit of red wine. And so, of course, what happens when you turn on the jukebox? Dean Martin comes on with "Hey Brother, Pour the Wine." <laughs> because if anyone is synonymous with drinking. It's Dino. Yeah. Some people like Frank Sinatra. They're fucking wrong. Dino <laughs> is the Dino is the man from the Brad Pack. He is the man. Enjoy the shade. Hey brother, pour the wine. Drink the drink that I have made. Hey brother, pour the wine. Tell you why the day is sunny. I'm in love with lips of honey. Will you see the way she walks? Hey brother, pour the wine. She is coming here to stay. That is fucking classy. We have come at this from such different angles. Can't you just picture like a Trattoria Italian restaurant? Everyone's chubbling down spaghetti Godfather style. The Chianti's flowing. That comes on, and the entire table's going, hey, brother, pour the wine. Fuck yeah. That's your halfway point in the evening where you get yep. a bit of pasta into you to like soak up some of the drink. Yeah, I can definitely see that. That's a that's a classy choice. You and I have come at this from very different angles. Um, oh, my... I had to have Dean Martin. I, I, it was that or a couple of other ones that were in the wings there that were in the honourable mentions. <laughs> but that one's such a sing-along classic. It, it felt more like a drinking song. Yeah. Well, speaking of sing-on classics, my number five definitely falls into that category. It's not about drinking at all, but it is a song, and in fact, it came up in the listener feedback, that if you hear this song again, similar to Mr. Brightside, I'm picturing a wedding scenario. You're a little bit tipsy oh, end of the God, night. Oh, God, if you're going to steal one of my top... Fuck, if we, if we cross over, and I was so confident we weren't. Well, <gasps> do you have a song by Dexy's Midnight Runners? 
I don't, but fucking give it to me because okay, I want one. <laughs> fucking come on, Eileen. If this song comes on and yes. you don't dance and scream at the top of your lungs, something Kevin is Roland, wrong with you, my friend. Bring it. <laughs> come on, Eileen. <laughs> You don't even need to get to the lyrics. <laughs> you don't even need to. Do you have somewhere to be? Is that what it is? What's fucking going on? That's how good this song is. You don't you know need we did to get the research lyrics. And we don't need to stop after 30 seconds anymore. <laughs> fucking hell. Well, the payment hasn't gone through yet. I want I want to wait until we're fully cleared by APRA. But yes, we are getting full music licensing, so we will be able to play as much fucking music as we want in the next couple of weeks. Too but, late for fucking Kevin Rowland. And <laughs> tell you what, though. that You hear that song and don't dance, something is wrong with you, oh, my yeah. friend. Fucking broken human. I think that's one of the ultimate drinking songs I out there. love that song. In fact, I yeah. love that band. I've got that album. I've got... Yeah, right. They did a, they, their cover of Jackie Wilson said, oh, so fucking good. <laughs> All right. Over to you for your number four then, mate. All right. We're a bit full after all that pasta. <laughs> well, your storytelling is next level, mate. <laughs> I feel like We've I'm listening on. to like an episode of Reading you know Rainbow. You, you, you've eaten too much. You've drunk too much. You just yeah, I know the feeling. Oh, <laughs> I know the feeling you're well. In the bar, but it's last drinks. Yep. The shitty where you're at. They fucking close at midnight. It's one of those shitty. Oh, ones. Can, is it closing time? Even, why did you pick pick this place? It's the wrong place to be. You need to be somewhere that's open till three, but you're at a place that closes at 12. Barman's calling last drinks. What do you do? You take a leaf out of the book of the master John Lee Hooker and you order one bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. (laughs) I gave you no preamble for that. No, you didn't, mate. I'm I'm furiously trying to load up the (laughs) song. Fucking excellent. I don't think I've ever heard that song. Oh, it's so best thing. I mean, John Lee Hook is a fucking legend, but that's my favourite thing he's ever done. Yeah, nice. Nice. All about last call and just going, oh, fucking give me all of it. <laughs> I thought you were going to closing time and I was like, fuck, that's not on my list, but it should be. <laughs> was it like Third Eye Blind or some shit? Or yeah, that- yeah. Third Eye Blind. Hmm. All right. Well, Very on to my number four. Uh, and I have a classic here. And it is another one that for me is both about drinking and great to sing while you're drunk. And it is by the master, Billy Joel, who is the only artist for which I have two songs on my I list. Am I stealing one of yours? Say, if you f- no, no, you didn't. It's an honourable mention and it was a last minute dropout because I thought of other stuff. But yeah, bring it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Kiss mate, it's nine o'clock, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. A regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin. It's a very disturbing image. I'm just picturing this old man with a glass of bourbon and gin <laughs> furiously thrusting in the middle of the bar. <laughs> like American Pie style. I, 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 I believe it said making love, not 
bucking. <laughs> and then, bucking is not injured. He's making love to it. So I think we can assume it's slow and sensual. And then Jim's dad comes in. He's like, I mean, well, just tell your mother that we drank class, it all. But- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, uh, I'm the biggest I'm, Billy fan. That's a fucking I'm, all-time great song. I'm right at the dregs of my second glass of beer, and I have not had anything to eat today at all. So, <laughs> All right, over to your number you know three, you my friend. What's that? Another beer. I, I probably do need to get myself another beer when this one's done. Over to your number three, my friend. Uh, no, 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 where are we at to? The numbers are confusing me. I've got four more to go. This is four. I guess. I guess four. <laughs> Have I fucked four. up the numbers at some point? One, probably. Two, three, I don't know. Four. You started numbering in reverse, and then you flipped around halfway through. I, so you're probably I've done. Yourself. I've done six, and you started before me. You must have done six as well. I've done Hang one, on. two, three, four, five, six. Which, according to maths, oh, means yeah. I have four <laughs> left to go. <laughs> All right. All right. Over to your number four, mate. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, this song, more than any song in history in Australia or in the world, because they have music outside Australia. It's not as good, but whatever. Um, this Is it song, the Angels? No. Although, <laughs> am I even going to see your face if you're talking about sing-alongs? Okay, well, that's a different countdown. Um, yeah, that's so a different one. This, we'll do that at some point. Yeah. Oh, fuck, we will. Um, this song, more than any other, to me feels like an Aussie pub. It's Flame Trees by Cold Chisel. Right. It's by far my favourite Cold Chisel song. I love this song is so evocative of an Aussie country pub and old friends coming together when they haven't seen each other for a while. It's fucking magical. Can I tell you Roll a secret? It. I I don't know. I don't know much Cold Chisel. Well then you're playing three and a half minutes of this fucker. <laughs> Roll it, Saturday Saturday afternoon, just pass me by. I'm just savoring familiar sights. We shared some history this town and I. And I can't stop that long forgot feeling of her. Don't fucking I can, stop me. Do you have a medical appointment? I don't I don't want us to get sued, mate. We don't have the clearances just yet. Oh fucking I will pay it tonight before it even gets fucking put up. Fucking flame trees. Come on. I tell you what. Right. By next time we do this, we'll be able to play as much as we want. Eighty percent of the show can be music by how then. How long have I got between this song and my one not the next one, but the one after? I, Have I, I got time know. to go and fucking pay the 200 and whatever dollars? Because I'll fucking do it so you don't shortchange me on my number two, it's, which I, I want. T- I in tell you, I tell you what. I tell you what. When we finish recording, we can play that song in full. And we can just jam out. You know. That doesn't help the listeners. Don't you care about the listeners? No, but ho- hopefully, the listeners are doing the right thing and checking out the playlist, mate. They're, they're just going to load up the playlist while having a drink themselves. It's it's ideal. It's perfect for the listeners. I, I feel like I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. What's your All next right. one, man? Come on, All surprise right. so, me. So, so we're on to my number four. I don't know if this is going to be a surprise or not. It's by far... <laughs> well, no, I do have a Luxmith song on my short list. I don't think I'll get to it, though. <laughs> this song is... The song on my list with the least lyrics. In fact, it has one lyric. Can you guess what that lyric is? Is it tequila by the chance? It's fucking tequila, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Did I steal your thunder just then? Is this on your list or no? No. What I was waiting for, because I, I know, because this was on my list until very late in the piece, 
just how far you have to go before you get to tequila. And I was waiting to see how long you'd let your song play. And I didn't, because I you, didn't, mate. <laughs> I'm very cautious of the law, you know. <laughs> no, great song. Again, I just think it's so dancey and it's so oh, simple if, if and that's all it needs it's, to be. It's, it's in the top five of things that people in a bar will just sing yeah. along to. Oh, because it's so easy. All you got to do is drunkenly yell out, tequila. <laughs> but everyone will do it at the right point. It doesn't yes. matter. Yeah, it's it's 100%. one of those things. So that and that's why it was on my list for a long time, and Excellent. painfully cut out. <laughs> all right, on to your number three, then, my friend. Oh, all right, we've gone past the point of nostalgia now in our evening. <laughs> We're now getting a bit messy. Yep, we're getting dead Kennedy's too drunk to fuck messy. <laughs> 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 your, I love the storytelling in your list. It starts out, and not only does it start out classy, it gets classier halfway with fucking, you know, There's the rat pack. A moment in every evening. <laughs> well, I'm turning, you're out of luck. I'm rolling down the stairs, too drunk to fuck. I'm too drunk to fuck. <laughs> That's excellent. That is an excellent, excellent choice. <laughs> That's really, really good. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow it down a lot because, uh, yeah, m- maybe, maybe I'll take a, a leaf from your book. Maybe I'll, I'll do some storytelling here. And this Ooh, is really? the next day. This is the next day. You've been drunk. You've been drunk. You're not drunk anymore. You're hungry for some breakfast. Tell me it's t-shirt weather. (laughs) It's it's not t-shirt weather, but you're hungry for some breakfast. Where do you go for breakfast, my friend? You go to Tiffany's. (laughs) What? (laughs) Breakfast at Tiffany's is one of the most fun songs to sing when drunk. I have vivid memories of Toaster and I. I love this song. Tell me how it's a drinking song, though. I have vivid memories of Topher and I drunk, just screaming. And I said, what about breakfast at Kimmings's? He said, I think I have some meat pies left, if I recall. I don't think we ate them all last night. And I said, well, that's one thing we've got. Our lines have come between us. Still, I know you just don't care. That song is so great to sing when you're drunk. <laughs> so, a, a song that didn't make my list but very nearly did was uh, Climbing Up on Salisbury Hill. Which is another one that I have vivid oh, memories of Topher and I just like screaming at the seen, top of our lungs. <laughs> I'm going to go completely off on a tangent for a second, but have you seen the footage of the Gabriel concert he did? I want to say like five ish, five or 10 years ago. He was fucking old and bald anyway. But <laughs> when he's doing Salisbury Hill, he's on a fucking bike and just. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the stage is in the middle. There's like people on all sides. There's, he's in the fucking Al Rondo or whatever the term is. And yep. he is literally, while singing with a fucking Madonna mic, on a bike, <laughs> just doing circuits around the stage. And I'm like, dude, you're fucking 70. <laughs> I couldn't do that now. Fucking oh, legend. man. Yeah. I mean, champion was still good after he left, but. That's another discussion that we'll have. On the the Genesis were much, yeah. G- Genesis were Peter Gabriel. They were Peter Gabriel. Fuck D- Phil don't, Collins. Don't, don't. No, you back fuck your, back Phil your Collins. Fucking Genesis All ball. right, ball. Onto, onto your number two, don't my friend. Genesis songs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what you got for me at number two? And give me right, some preamble uh, so I can load it up. <laughs> All right, so now we are at fucking adrenaline second wind time. Yeah, you've you've pushed through the shit from the rest of the evening. It's now about fucking three o'clock in the morning. 
the adrenaline's kicked in. You've had a couple of coffees. You're like, fucking rock on. Let's keep going. And the jukebox comes on or the man at the piano starts playing. You know, I don't, I don't want to judge where you are <laughs> in your <laughs> evening. You could be at a piano bar. You could be anywhere. I don't care. But this song comes on. Every cunt in the room starts fucking singing. Sweet Caroline, Neil Diamond. Uh, if you don't start doing a ba ba ba, you're a fucking <laughs> robot, and I hate you. I knew that this would make your list. See, I told you we'd have crossover. This hundred percent would have been on my list, mate. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Amazing song. Where it song. began. I can't, I can't begin, begin to, know, to it. know it, but then I know it's growing strong. Even before you get to the chorus, this is sing along worthy. Wasn't the spring, and spring, and spring became, became the summer. summer. Who'd have believed you'd come along? All right, Dave, we're gonna we're gonna take this solo. You ready? Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Where are your hands? <laughs> hands? What did you fucking do? Your hands? Touching yeah, hands. Yeah, hands. What touching hands. Fuck? Mate, who gives a shit about the hands touching? <laughs> you want to get to sweet Caroline. She's sweet. Her name is Caroline. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> it's all right. We'll jam hey, out afterwards, I promise. Go to the song on the, on the, on the playlist. Yeah. Where it's go to there. the playlist. Go to the playlist where we don't have to pay for the rights. <laughs> And by the next time I we say, do this. <laughs> just to tie it in, you know, get fucking some sort of movie thing in here. Beautiful Girls, the Ted Demi film, has the most amazing moment with this song where they're all trying to fucking crack on to Yuma Thurman. But, of course, <laughs> our man Tim Hutton knows how to play the piano. So i got to tell you, this shit up. Oh. I, 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 feel, I feel confident about winning a vote this week. But Sweet Caroline, that is a fucking banger. That could, that alone could take it for you. <laughs> you must have some really good shit in your top two if you think you can win this week. Ooh. <laughs> one over two is one of the greatest fucking songs of all time. And it's one of the first songs that I learned. I, w I would say it's one of the first soft raps. It's a white man rap. Don't, that I wait. So, 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 so. Don't you talk about learning to play shit because everyone knows that musicians are sexy. And if you start talking about knowing to play shit, you fucking go up the scale. <laughs> not how no, It's one of the first songs that I learned to, to rap. Here. Um, it's one of the first songs you learned to hear. <laughs> but I I still do not know the chorus to this song, but I can do every word of the verses, and it is Miller One Rice. Week by the Bare Naked Ladies. Oh, you made three days in the living room. I realized it's all my fault, but couldn't tell you yesterday. You'd forgiven me, but it'll still be two days till I say I'm sorry. Hold it now and watch the hood wink. Does it make you stop think? You think you're licking that Aquaman? Or someone fished to the dish of the well at the chalice where I let the sushi because it's never such a fine band. Hot like wasabi when I bust rhymes. Big like Leanne rhymes because I'm all about value. Bird can't frisk the man hiss. You try to match with. You try to hold me, but I bust. <laughs> there is nothing better than busting that out when you're drunk. <laughs> Excellent. I love Excellent. The fucking Naked Ladies. I oh, me too. I'm a big albums. fan. They are one of those bands that I often hear people be like, oh, one hit wonder. Fuck off. Fuck the you. Bare Naked Ladies Shoot are hit cut. after hit after hit after hit. Oh, Every single so song they have ever good. written slaps. They are Canadian yep. twee at its fucking best, my friend. Yeah. All right. No. Absolutely. I've, I've sworn at the listeners and laugh. <laughs> I didn't even think of this, but obviously, yes. I was thinking of songs you could sing along to drunk, not songs you want to sing along to drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it is a, a different camp, and I admit that. All right. <laughs> so are we up to your number two then? No. Nah, we're up to my number one, and I'm feeling very nervous now because that was a really strong fucking entry from you. <laughs> but... And don't you dare cut this cunt off early. This this one needs to play for a while. I hope it's not what my number one is. I guarantee you it's not. Okay. Is yours in German? Is this 99 Luftballons? No. Didn't even think of that. <laughs> no. My number one is Zan Klein Jägermeister by Die Tottenhausen. Hang on. Do you need me to, like, <laughs> message your spelling? <laughs> 
I'm right, trying to search Spotify on, for this. On. I don't want to fucking shortchange this because this is the greatest drinking song all fucking all time. So I'm going to message you the spelling because I'm I'm thoughtful. I mean, it's all good and well to say we can play the music in live, but then like, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be able to. I gotta be able to actually look yeah. this shit all up. Right. I will give some backstory. While By you... Die Totten Hosken? Yeah, it's German for the dead trousers. Um, <laughs> it's a German punk band. This is their probably least fucking punk song. But this is... Don't start it yet. No, I need to. I need my preamble. And then I need okay. you to play it for like fucking 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that. But I'll, I'll play it from the top whenever you're ready. No no one is fucking <laughs> hitting us up on a copyright infringement. <laughs> Zad Kleine Jägermeister. It's not happening. <laughs> I will pay the fines. Um, I was introduced to this song by a, an ex-girlfriend back in the 90s. Uh, Beck, probably not listening, but fuck, wonderful. Love you for this. Um, it is They are a German punk band, and this was the, much like Chub, Th- uh, Chub Thumping was Chumbawamba's sellout song that all of the hardcore fans hated them for. I think this was pretty much the same for the Tottenhals and it was their kind of sellout, let's try and make some money song. Uh, it charted and all the rest of it. But if any song makes you want to be in a German beer hall <laughs> with a thousand other people <laughs> fucking raising a stein and singing along, it is this fucking song. <laughs> Drum lud er sich zum Weihnachtsfest, neun Jägermeister ein. Wait for it. Zehn kleine Jägermeister rauchten einen Joint, den einen hat es umgehauen, da waren's nur noch neun. Neun kleine Jägermeister wollten gerne erben, damit es was zu erben gab, musste einer sterben. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Oh, it would be. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. I'm redoing I'm... this episode when we have APRA clearance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm torn oh, because... The, the crescendo on that song is fucking sublime. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I'm, the, whole, I'm a... the whole song builds. <laughs> it is the ultimate beer hall song, neutered by APRA restrictions. I'm anyway. a bit torn because I have several songs left on my list and they'd all be great choices. I, I thought we'd have more crossover, so I made a list of 20. Uh, I've already had Billy Joel, so I'm not going to use We Didn't Start the Fire, which is a fucking great drinking song. But I can't song, believe... No, 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 drinking. I can't believe that you did not have this on your list. Is this just fantasy? It was close. Caught in a landslide, <laughs> no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. I'm just a poor boy. <laughs> no sympathy. <laughs> like, that song, you know. We all think of the classic Wayne's World headbanging in the car. Oh, fuck off. We were singing along to that before Mike Myers did his freaking thing. But that's what this song makes you want to do. It makes you want to headbang and jump up and sing along. And for a song that starts as slow as this does, that's insane. That's just absolutely insane. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, no. I'm, yeah. Huge Queen fan. No arguments whatsoever. It's a good pick. It was very close to my list. I kind of, I was toying between Bohemian Rhapsody 
American Pie and Sweet Caroline. Yeah. Went, Fuck it. Sweet yeah. Caroline is the. It, in terms of everyone joining in in the bar, for me, Sweet Caroline is, is that. But yeah, 100%. Great pick. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's just fucking great. All right. Well, how about um, we get to some honorable mentions? The first encounter I had with that song was a, a slightly older friend of the family who's still my friend to this day. He's a, a fabulous guy, now a uh, classics scholar over at Oxford who reviews films and is very, very clever. Um, but we used to sing that song to each other in Pig Latin. <laughs> Drawed my prig oh, he be in Bay Up City Ray. Dow he's Ned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about we get to some honorable mentions then? Because, like I said, I had a list of 20 and we didn't have any crossover in the end. So, what are some honorable mentions on your list? Uh, where's my notes? I'll bring it up where I can see it. All righty, what didn't I have? One which would have been in my top five, even, but. Is unavailable. There's a George Melly who is a like an old, like a British vaudeville type performer. He had a song called "Give Her a, Nut, a Little Drop More," but what I wanted was the cover that was used in St. Elmo's Fire. It plays on the jukebox. The entire bar joins in, like "Give Her a Little Drop More." But the band that did the cover never released it. It's not on the fucking soundtrack. It's not available, whatever. The George Miller I hate that. this fucking shitty vaudeville version. So that never happened. So that annoyed me. Um, I almost had a little old wine drinker me by Dean Martin. Hey, brother, for the wine. Um, I thought going too much into the sad fucker sitting in the corner while drinking was probably not, you know, on point for, for this episode. So I, I scouted that. Um, I don't know how, but I, I somehow managed to not have any Pogues on my list. Oh, um, I love the Pogues. I'll have them streams, on a future streams list of for whiskey, sure. dirty old town. I had I had I had a fucking Sally Macklin. I had a whole bunch of Pogue songs and ended up not having any of them on the list. So fuck knows. Um, if we do a list of Christmas songs at some point, we might have to oh, fight for a crossover cool. there. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> um, at one point, I was looking at. Uh, songs where the their film clip involved drinking. Yeah. And I had Smack Smack My Bitch Up by Prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'd appreciate this. Very close. The, 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 the last one to be cut out of my team was Blarney Stone by Ween. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Of, nice of, one. Um, Mollusk, which uh, I, I'm sure you would know. Um, th- that was a very late emission and, uh, yeah, very close. Uh, what else? Uh, American Pie is, is one of the sort of sing-along type dr- uh, drinking songs. Um, there's a fucking whole bunch of Tom White shit in here. <laughs> uh, Red Red Wine by Neil Diamond was another close one. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama in terms of things. That you also on my short list, yeah. Drinking. Yep. Um, almost everything else, apart from Friday Night by Lily Allen, Almost everything else. Oh, Ramble Tamble by Credence. Why did I fucking put Credence in there? <laughs> um, almost everything else uh, is Irish St. Patrick's Day set list. Shit, yep. Um, nice. Of which there is a million. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Cigarettes, Whiskey and Wild Wild Women by Jim Croce. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. I also I had Sweet it. Home. I also had Sweet Home Alabama. I had Where Everybody Knows Your Name, the theme song from Cheers. Ooh, uh, we nice. didn't start the fire. Billy Joel. As a millennial, I had to have Damn It by Blink-182 in there. Steal My Sunshine. And, of course, a, a song that I think could go on any playlist ever is uh, Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen, which I think is one of the best fucking pop songs ever written. <laughs> he said a song that could go on any playlist. I thought, he's not going to say Call Me Maybe. <laughs> I, I literally I literally have this in my like heavy music playlist because you're never not in the right mood for it. No matter what you it's think true. you want to listen it's to, the answer song. is always call me maybe. 
All right. On a listen to the feedback then, on the Facebook group, we had Paul from the Countdown, absolute champion. He said, oh, yes, hopefully I'll get a vote from him. He said, Bohemian Rhapsody Queen, can't count the number of times our friends and I have drunkenly headbanged to this. Epic by Faith No More and Show Me the Way to Go Home from Jaws. <laughs> oh, good call. <laughs> yeah. Nice, I like that. Josh Raglin on Facebook also said Tub Thumpin' Chumbawamba, which you alluded to earlier, Drunken yep. Lullabies by Flog and Molly, and Tequila by The Champs. <laughs> nice. Over on Patreon, Melanie by Absolute Champion. We love Mel. Uh, she said songs that we used to scream at the pub and that will all feature in the playlist when I turn 40 in a few years. 500 Miles. Fuck, that's a good one. Uh, come on, Eileen. Feel and slightly sex on fire. sad about the when I turn forty in a few years. <laughs> I think hell. I think she's about my age. I think Mel and I are about on par. Fuck all y'all. But yes, <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, proclaimers, bring it. Yeah, I love and, the proclaimers. And finally, Stuart Garside also on Patreon said his three are Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba, yep. Sit Down by James, Don't You Forget About <gasps> Me by Simple Minds. And an honourable mention that man to all the awards, <laughs> and an honourable mention to Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode, oh which, he calls, which he calls, which he calls personal like cheeses. Fucking <laughs> doppelganger. <laughs> sit down by James is uh, I, everyone goes to laid, but sit down is the best song. Fucking James, and I'm a huge James fan. Sit down is their <laughs> fucking best song. What well, was the, what, what else did he have? Uh, personal cheeses by Depeche Mode. No, 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 no. no. In, the, in the main three, it was he, he had James and he had what did he have after James? Uh, oh, don't you forget about me by Simple Minds. Oh, Another fucking come great on. song. Yeah, what a legend. Can we great uh, forget song. you and me? Give him the win. <laughs> he, he wins. Well, yeah, I will. I will put these lists up for a vote. I'll put it on uh, Patreon, Facebook, and X, and we'll we'll see what bites. But thank you for listening. We hope you've enjoyed this. I've certainly had a shit ton of fun. And uh, yeah, next week we're going to be back to movies though because finally next week, mate, we are getting to a movie that for the last month you've been saying, oh, is that next week? <laughs> it's going to suck though, isn't it? Yeah. We, we what, know do you know that. what I'm talking about? Fucking the creator. You think that's going to suck? Yeah, because I want it to be good. So it's going to suck because the universe hates me. No. Hopefully it's good. I think it's going to be good. You don't even like the director. I'm the one that likes the director. You fucking hate him. What Are do you? I hate him for? No. I don't didn't know. He, I'm sure didn't he do Godzilla? Something. I'm pretty sure he did Godzilla. <laughs> Am I thinking yeah, of the wrong person? That's you know him from. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love Godzilla. <laughs> I'm excited, mate. I'm excited. Anyway, right. in the meantime. Excited. It's going to be good. I'm sure it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> You can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all under the handle at We Watch the Thing. Yep. Uh, if, if you want to help support the show, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash We Watch the Thing. You can hear more music chat over there. Some good stuff coming to Patreon soon. That's right. And you've, you've just made me listen to a Midnight Oil album as well, which I've never heard before. So we'll be checking that out. Oh. <laughs> and. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can do that. We watch the thing, or we at we watch the thing dot com, or we watch the thing at gmail dot com. I've had too much beer tonight. Have I said all of the things? Um, sure. All right. We'll catch you next Find week. Us.